Hey y'all, it's Mary, and welcome to Friday Night Gab. And Smudge just came up, and he doesn't come up anymore. So, oh, Smudge, stay with me, lovey. Come on, come and sit. Come and sit. Don't put your backside into the camera if you don't mind, y'all. I just really want him to come up and sit with me a little bit um, and see y'all. Um, Smudge, you gonna say hello? Will you wanna sit? I don't think he's going to stay. And then here, you can see the fur is flying. Smudge. Anyway, I didn't want to, intro I didn't want to introduce you all <laughs> to my um, fab, or Friday Night Gab. That way, I do have some fab and fun stuff to talk about. So, anyway. <laughs> <sighs> Sorry, Smudge. Sorry, Smudge. Okay, y'all. A um, couple of things. Got You know, I've got my little list of things always. I've got my health situation. I want to tell y'all that I've been to the chiropractor now, let's see, three times? Yeah, three times. I went last Friday for the first time, and then went Monday and Thursday. And um, after I was adjusted the first time, um, and you know, they went through my x-rays and all that kind of stuff, It uh, very informative. I know a lot of it because I used to work uh, for a, chi a chiropractor like 20 years ago. So you know, you do forget some things. But it's very interesting, and I won't go into all that because I'm not trying to push it on anybody. But for me, um, I thought that what I had was a pinched nerve, and it did turn out to be a pinched nerve. So um, after they adjusted me, it was my my trouble was mostly right here. I was having this pain, like if you pushed on me really hard, almost like someone had punched me a bunch of times here. That's where my pain was. Um, but sometimes I'd feel something down my arm. So I decided that it must be a pinched nerve after reading all about it. And um, I didn't have any trouble with my neck. But then when they show you the x-rays and all the trouble I have with my neck, which I knew about, um, but you know, it's more severe than it was 20 years ago. Um, you think you don't have trouble with your neck, but a lot, you know, a lot of our everyday things that we do, we're just so used to doing them, we don't realize that we're off kilter a little bit, you know what I mean? So when they adjusted my neck and, and they, my, my spine, they adjusted me, you know, from um, the top of the spine to the bottom of the spine. Then I had some um, stiffness last weekend and then got adjusted Monday and then I, I felt fabulous Monday. And no, so what do I do? On Wednesday night, I think it was, um, here comes Camille. I have, um, usually before I go to bed, I sit in my bed for a little bit. I put a couple of pillows behind me and then I have this, this long pillow um, that I stand up and I lean against it to, you know, answer comments and things like that, read, whatever. And what I always do is I go like that when it's time for bed, I go behind me and I pull it all out. Well, you can't do that when you have a pinched nerve. <laughs> and I felt so good though, I did it. And then as soon as I was doing it, I'm like, uh-oh. So what I need to get do is probably get out of bed and move the pillows away and then get back into bed. So, um, yeah. So I got adjusted on Thursday. I told him about that. And he's like, yeah, that's what people do. You know, we feel better. So we start, we do things like that. So um, Camille stopped chewing on everything. This girl never stops chewing. So I do want to tell you, since Camille came up here, it reminded me, um, go check out um, my shorts. I have, a, I have a few super cute shorts of the cats and one that just makes me want to cry. <laughs> the last one that I put up, um, they do not, the boy, oh yeah, you'll have to go see it. It's called Three's Company or something like that. Um, she's just adorable and they will not accept her. So they're not, you know, they don't beat her up or hate her, but um, she does beat them up all the time. Um, but anyway, they're cute. They're cute little, cute little, um, shorts. If you have a minute to go see them, they're less than a minute a piece. Look at that. You see all that fur flying? Now Blue and Camille have similar fur and it is just, it's like down feathers. If you ever had down feathers in the air, you can't even try to catch them. You can't do it. You can't do it. All right. Settle down, Camille. <laughs> okay. So, um, on my FabFitFun, we got, um, this. And um, the last couple of times, I think, or maybe this is, is this the third or the second time? I'm not sure, but a scratch off game. And I'll tell you something, y'all, I've never seen anybody win. I think you can win $10,000. Has anybody won? I hope somebody's won, but I'm, I haven't seen it or heard anything about it. This one was different. The last two cards were a little bit bigger. I wanna say there were two cards that were the same. Maybe, I don't remember. 
because I think we got it in the spring and the summer. And then this one is different. It's, it's super cute, it's for fall. I'll tell you something. Did anybody have trouble scratching these things off? It was, you, I used all different kinds of coins. It was so hard to scratch off. So I was only able to get two of each line scratched off, but you have to, they have to match. So you know, you know right away you lose. And then at the bottom, it tells you to scratch off this foam over here. And of course it says, sorry, you're not a winner. You're not an instant winner. I think you can go online and do something, but you know. Anyway, so I'm not a winner. I didn't win. And I got this in my FabFitFun. And several of you commented on the video to that the that the bracelet is this bracelet and that it is flexible. And I um, did not know a thing about it. My fault for not um, what well, just fell. I don't know something. <laughs> um, to checking on it or whatever. I really didn't look into it very much. Um, when I went to put it on, I stuck my hand, my wrist between here, and I got it on. And then it was just on. It was tight on me. But I wanted to see. I've seen a couple of videos and a couple of y'all have told me it's flexible. Now they show the video on their website for this. This is Alex and Annie, Alex and Annie, and they do this back and forth. And this does not do that. No, it does not. But that's not what I need for flexing. I need it to open wider and I do. Okay. I was, I really didn't want to attempt to do that because sometimes when you do stuff like that, you'll break it. And it's, was this 45 or $65 or something? It, I'd rather give it to someone than break it, you know, but I also love it. I'd love to wear it myself. So that's what I need to do is, is to do this and open it up a little bit more. I don't know that that worked. Um, and, uh, no. No, see, it's still fitting me the same. Now I can probably work at it a little bit more, but again, I don't wanna break it. If there's too much tension here, it might snap. So I do love it, but um, yeah, I don't, I, I'm afraid to, and if I get it, if I get it open more, is it really gonna even stay on me correctly? I don't know. All right, there I did, I moved that up a little bit. Well, maybe I'll do this side too. Maybe that'll do it. Let's see. It goes on easier. Um, well, y'all, this is, uh, yeah, no, I don't think, I don't think I can use it. Camille scratched my arm. Um, well, now that's more comfortable. So without all these scratches on me, maybe I, maybe I could wear that because that doesn't bother me now. Okay. Hey, maybe I can wear it. Anyway, that is my bracelet. And so if you did get this bracelet, honestly, on their website, they do, 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 do. I can't even, I can hardly even move it at all. So maybe they show a silver one that they're doing that with. So we'll see. And then also, y'all, if you saw my video, I'm sorry about all this shaking. I don't know why. I think I need a new thing thingy. It's broken a little bit. Um, I uh, told y'all yesterday in my um, LASNB bag video, that this bag I thought was about $30 because I could not find it. it was, it's not on the website anymore right now because they have newer ones. I'll tell you about that in a second. Um, this, I said it was about $30, so I don't want to mislead you. This was $23.66. I did find my original snapshot of it, screenshot of it. So I love this bag. It's the greatest bag for toting a few things with you. I'm not, you know, I am not... Uh, right up on fashion and um, I don't need it to be this you know to say this and I don't want to look like I'm rich because I'm not you know what I mean but it's a great bag for carrying things back and forth to work and water bottles water I have to drink a lot of water with the chiropractor I already drink a lot of water but I have to drink more so um, I just wanted to not mislead you about the price they do have bags very similar to this now it's the same same bag but they're winterized bags now. So they are, um, they have a lining of fleece, you know, a, a, like fuzzy, like a, um, uh, like the curly kind of a stuffed animal. Um, and that is very popular with the um, manufacturer of the real bag. They make those as well. And I don't know the price of those with the with the fur in them, but um, they're win you know for winter. So that's what they have right now, and those are just like twenty four dollars and change. 
So, um, you know, cute, cute winter bag. So um, also on my Stitch Fix, my last Stitch Fix, I kept everything. It was a five for five for me, but I didn't notice, I, um, I get so excited about it, I guess. You know, um, I felt like the pants were a little too big, but I have the same, the tribal brand, I have the same pants in the navy blue. That was the first pair of pants they sent me and I really love them. And they fit me um, in the beginning of the day. At the end of the day, they fit me just as well. They're not all stretched out or anything because they are, um, you know, uh, they have a stretch to them and they, um, they are uh, like form fitting, I guess is a good way to put them. They're uh, like, not leggings. So yeah, maybe like leggings, sort of like. So. They sent me a very dark pair. They're, they're called gray, but they're almost like a um, heathered gray, a heathered, almost like a black. They're nice, really nice. Well, I noticed when I was watching the video back that they are big on me, on my legs, that they there's puckering and stuff. So that's right when this all happened. And so a couple weeks went by. Well, I contacted them this week feeling some better and said, you know, I'm like, I don't know if this is possible. Cause if you like your fix, but something doesn't fit you, they will exchange it for you in a different size. If they have it, um, you know, if you need a bigger size, if you need a smaller size, they will exchange it for you free of charge and you don't pay the shipping. Um, but I, you know, I was like, well, that's probably when you're saying, Hey, I love this, but this doesn't fit me. I want the whole all, you know, I want the whole fix. Um, it was a couple of weeks. I didn't wear them. I had them hanging in my closet. They still had the tags on them. And I asked them, you know, is there a way, can I exchange them? And they were so nice. They answered back within 24 hours. You, you sent them a message on the website. And I think I got an email right away saying they received my message and they get back to me. And I just, they're nice. They're the nicest people whenever I've talked to them. Um, they said, they sent me a label, which it turned out the label was exactly like the, um, the label on the bag that they send me. And since I haven't used the bag a couple of times, I've just been putting the bag aside in case. So I used one of those bags and I sent the pants back. And um, as soon as I told them that that's what I was, that I would use that label and send it back, they sent me the new pair. So that was just a day or two ago. So I think it was yesterday. So um, uh, it'll be a day or two before that actually gets here. And when it gets here, I'll, I'll let you know. Um, Cause it's, it, they're pretty fast. Um, and I just was so, I'm so impressed with the customer service of, um, of Stitch Fix. So I just wanted to let you know about that. And I think that's really about it this, this week, y'all. Have y'all had a good week? Um, have y'all, did y'all get FabFitFun and have you gotten it yet? Um, I was surprised that I got mine somewhat in the middle range. I wasn't first up, I never am. Um, but I wasn't last either this time, you know, sometimes I'm last <laughs> so, or just about last. There'll be one or two uh, people that are, that are last behind me. So, and also I wanted to say now, I don't know because, um, by now maybe it's happened, but the channel, you know, Taylor Marie, her channel name is Taylor Marie on Instagram. She goes by Taylor Marie's, well, how do you go by there? And, uh, Taylor Marie's world? No. Um, I can't remember. I'll put it below. It's uh, I think it's Taylor's Journey on Instagram. Okay, Taylor is so close to 1,000 subscribers. She got to 998 and she went down. You know, oh, YouTube likes to do that to us, especially the most, you know, it's fun to get anywhere. It's fun to get to that next hundred. Um, I'm close to 2000. I know I'm gonna be happy when I get to 2000, but I'll tell y'all, if you have a channel, getting to that 1000 is the most exciting thing. When you first start and you get to 100, it's like, wow, people are watching me. You get to 50, you get to 100. Then you get to 500, you think, oh, this is exciting. But once you hit that thousand, that's like, you know, you feel like maybe I made it, you know? And, um, I'm just so excited for Taylor. She's been working at this for a while. She sort of took, not a hiatus, but she was not um, doing so much with it. And she's she's been more focused with it in the last few months. Calm down, Camille. Um, and I'm just so proud of her. She is has come out of her comfort zone to do lots of things on her channel. 
and she's just so down to earth. You're all going to love her. I think y'all, you know, if you don't know her, I've, I've talked about her before. Please go see her, y'all. Please, but you can't just go over and hit subscribe. You have to engage. You have to watch a video. She's got a few, she's got her FabFitFun up. She's got um, some mystery bundles from FabFitFun. I haven't watched those yet because I got some mystery bundles too and I don't want to see it before I, I look at mine because we got refills and a lot of times those are the same or very similar. So I don't want to watch that yet of hers, but she does uh, vlogging. Um, she and her uh, her significant other, Joe, um, they do things together and um, sometimes you'll hear him in the background. He'll, he'll talk and stuff. And um, she's got some cats. And she does some cooking. She does re she does a lot of books. If you are into books, that she's with Charmaine, um, Charmaine Staycation. They do a book club, and it, she's a lot of fun. So please go see her. And um, I hope that when she gets over her over when she gets to one thousand and one, I just hope she doesn't backtrack because that happens to a lot of people. And you hit that one thousand, and you're so excited. Then you get to you know. 999, 998, 996. So I'm hoping she'll get over and stay over. And um, it just makes you feel, um, you know, like you've accomplished something. It feels wonderful. It's wonderful to have y'all here with us, watching us, a part of our lives every day. And um, it's just, uh, it's exciting. And um, she deserves it so, so much, y'all. So go check her out. I will put her um, link below and also Charmaine's Staycation. Um, and uh, they're both wonderful ladies. And uh, they're they, Charmaine's in Canada um, and uh, Taylor is in um, the Northeast. So they're, you know, they, they want to visit each other someday. I'd love to, I want to visit everybody. I really do. I want to have a big party and, and meet everybody. Can that ever happen? Not sure. Maybe not. But um, y'all, um, go see her, okay? And y'all, thanks for stopping by. Count your blessings. I hope y'all have had a good week this week. And pray for Hawaii. You know, keep them in your prayers. I always, you know, keep the U.S. Keep us and everybody in your prayers. And um, have a wonderful weekend, y'all. And take care. And love y'all. Bye-bye.